Hi, this is Polly. I'm here at the Aquarium of Boise, checking out some of the fish friends today. Here, we're hanging out with some of my enemies. Uh-huh. Get it? Anemones? Uh-huh. Well, oh, okay. So you might recognize some of the fish behind me. Do you recognize that fish? Have you seen that fish before? Well, this movie, um, I can't really talk about it very much, but, um, say, for example, they find them a lot. Yeah. Or they search the ocean for it. Yeah. Well, these fish are actually called clownfish. No joke. Seriously. No joke. And so these guys hang out in these flower-looking things in here called anemones. I'll kind of move out of the way so you can see my virtual tour. And they're right here. Right by my hand. Right there. And so anemones are actually cousins to corals. And so these guys are cousins to corals. And you'll see corals in this tank too. They're kind of the flower-looking things on there. And so you see one right over there on the corner of the rock right there. And so these guys catch their food using polyps. A polyp is kind of like a flower. And so they use those polyps in order to catch their food. They actually sting their food. Is that pretty cool? Yeah, I think it's cool too. And so they catch their food with those polyps and then they move it into their mouth. The cool thing about it is that their mouth is actually their backside too. Gross. And so these guys use those polyps in order to catch food and then move it into their mouth eat it, and then it goes out the same way it came in, which is pretty cool. Fish don't do that. And so on the tops of the rocks, you'll see the corals hanging out, and then you'll see the clownfish too. The clownfish have a special relationship with the anemones and the corals. And they'll brush up against the anemones and brush up against the corals and build up a relationship. And so they protect the coral and they protect the anemone and the anemone and the coral protect the clownfish. Now, they have to choose their anemones very, very carefully. If they don't choose the correct anemone, the anemone will actually sting, kill, and then eat the clownfish, which is pretty wild. And so they use those anemones and corals as protection. And so they help each other, just like you guys help each other at home too, or you help your friends, or you help your teachers, or your neighbors. And so everybody working together helping out one another. And so these guys are very territorial and they'll protect that anemone and protect that home from any other animals that try to get in their space and in their territory. And so we're gonna create some of these web videos and hang out with you guys and see what we can discover here at the Aquarium of Boise. We hope everyone is being safe, happy, healthy, and social distancing. Okay, we'll see you next time.